After winning the NBA title, the Golden State Warriors have been somewhat quiet in the trade market and the free agency market. However, we got some breaking news for you guys. According to Shams, quote, forward Jermichael Green is finalizing a contract buyout with the Oklahoma City Thunder and plans to sign with the Golden State Warriors after he clears waivers. After losing defensive specialist Gary Payton II, key contributor off the bench Otto Porter Jr. and versatile big man Nemanja Bialica, the Golden State Warriors are adding more strength to their rotation behind their starters. In today's video, we'll break down the signing along with why the Golden State Warriors are officially the smartest franchise in the NBA. And with that being said, let's roll the intro. Hi. Yo, what's up guys, Jason is here back with another video. If it's the first time watching, I love basketball and covering news and rumors in the NBA. If you find my content interesting, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because you do not want to miss any of my future upload. Now, just a little bit of background information, Jermichael Green got traded to the OKC Thunders from the Denver Nuggets before the draft. The Nuggets made this move to save money because Green has a contract worth $8.2 million, but it's obvious that he doesn't worth that much, and it makes sense that the Nuggets gave up on him. Looking at the Thunders, they are clearly rebuilding with young players at every position, which is obviously a big reason why they are finalizing a contract buyout with Green. Now, I have the theory where the Golden State Warriors have been in touch with Jermichael Green for a while and both parties are just waiting for the Thunders to make that bio decision. And speaking of Jermichael Green, I really think that he is the perfect fit for the Golden State Warriors. Last year with the Nuggets, Green was averaging 16.2 minutes per game, scoring 6.2 points while grabbing 4.2 rebounds. It is certainly true that he was a key rotational player for the Nuggets, but it is a fact that he had a down season last year. However, looking at his career numbers, Green averages about 8 points and 6 rebounds per game while shooting about 40% behind the arc. Now, Jermichael Green is never really a starter, but his presence from the bench is what makes him valuable. As mentioned previously, the Toronto Raptors signed Otto Porter Jr. and Nemina Bielitsa is going back to Europe. Draymond Green now is the only power forward on the squad, but as we all know, Draymond has no threat on offense when it comes to shooting. However, looking at Jermichael Green, not only is he addressing one of the biggest needs for the Warriors, but he also providing a lot of value strategically. Looking at the current free agency market and the Warriors' capital situation, Jermichael Green is likely the best option for Golden State. Another aspect of this signing is that Green has a dog in him. If you've been watching him on the Nuggets or the Grizzlies, he's the kind of player that will do whatever it takes to protect his teammates and help the team to win. Now, Jermichael Green and the Golden State Warriors are only doing a veteran minimum contract around $2.63 million. However, since Golden State are so over the cap, the Warriors have to pay around $10.93 million in terms of luxury tax, meaning this one acquisition costed around $13 million for Golden State. So for us Warriors fan, we can't be complaining about the fact that we're not adding additional personnel to the team. It is true that the Warriors owners don't want to pay money, but there is always a limitation when it comes to that. This offseason, the Warriors lost three key contributors in Gary Payne II, Otto Porter Jr. and Nemina Bialica. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the Warriors have already secretly filled in all three departures with new personnel. In terms of Nemina Bialica, the Warriors just signed Michael Green. In terms of Gary Payne II, the Warriors signed Dante DiVincenzo a few weeks ago to a two-year contract. And in terms of Otto Porter Jr., the Warriors picked up Patrick Baldwin Jr., who has a similar physical frame in this year's draft. One thing that we have to pay attention here is, the Warriors are building a positive cycle. As the team keeps dominating, more and more veterans are willing to join the team on a smaller contract. You look at Otto Porter Jr. and GP2, they all played a critical role in helping the team to win, and now they are making more money as they were able to use the Warriors as a jumping board to increase their value. The biggest question now to ask is, are the Golden State Warriors better than last year? 
On the paper, the answer is yes, but only slightly. However, the key is all about the young guys in Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, James Wiseman, and this year's new draft pick, Patrick Baldwin Jr. And this is what makes the Golden State Warriors super scary. Ever since Joe Laker became the team's owner and Bob Myers became the team's general manager, the Warriors draft has been one of the best in recent histories. Just take Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Jim Green as three examples. And now looking at it again, Jonathan Kaminga, Moses Moody, James Wiseman all have a ton of potential. Comparing the Warriors to teams like the Clippers or the Lakers, these teams overspend their future in terms of draft picks to acquire superstars, unlike the Warriors where they build everything up from the ground. If you think about it, was the last time the Warriors packaged multiple first round picks in exchange for a superstar? I can't recall that at all. So my point is the Warriors are using a healthy way to compete for a championship unlike some other teams out there that will only be able to compete for a few years. Unlike the Warriors, they will likely be dominated for the next decade. Alright guys, that's all we got for today's video. Let me know in the comment section if you think the Golden State Warriors will win the title one more time next year. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and follow me on social media with all the links in the description box down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.